of 713, and that was due to a uh, closed door meeting that we needed to be in. So um, I appreciate the patience of those here in the audience. And um, with that, I'm going to turn the time over to uh, Council Member Tyson Roberts to conduct our uh, pledge and prayer for us. All rise, please, and we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Father in heaven, as we gather here today to conduct the business of this great community that we feel privileged to live in, we ask for thy direction as we make decisions and oversee the, the business here, that that will direct us to keep in mind those who we serve and make decisions that will best impact those citizens of this great community. We're grateful, Father, for all those members of our community that provide service at the sacrifice of, of them. We, we pray to bless, we pray that that will bless uh, those servants, the first responders, police, fire, that they will be watched over kept safe as they watch over us. We pray for thy spirit to be with us, and we do this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. Okay, Council, um, we have several sets of minutes that need to be approved, so we'll look for any corrections that need to be taken place, or if not, then um, a motion to accept. And if you could, go ahead and read them out. You can just do them in order. I move that we accept or that we approve the meeting minutes, work meeting, August 19th, 2021, Layton City Council meeting, November 18th, 2021, Layton City Council meeting, December 2nd, 2021, and Layton City Council meeting, December 16th, 2021. Second. Okay. It's been moved and second that we accept the minutes as written for the one, two, three, four, one, four <laughs> meetings. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we'll move on to our municipal announcements. So, council, anyone who is involved with any of the ancillary uh, departments, please let me know if there's any announcements you'd like to share with the public. I have a few announcements. Um, first, I wanted to acknowledge that February is Black History Month. And for those in Davis County, which is us, there is a senior services newsletter put out by the Davis County Health Department. And so any of you in the aging community will get a copy of that. And I was fortunate to write an article and I did recognize some of our Layton residents. So I invite you to look for that as it comes in the mail. Also, Davis Arts Council... Their small stage series concert this month is going to be virtual, and that's going to be premiering tomorrow. It will be on YouTube, on their YouTube channel, which is just Davis Arts Council on YouTube, and that will be at 7 p.m. The artist is Sadie Anderson. And then finally, on Pitch Performing Arts, we spoke earlier in the year about Legally Blonde. That performance will begin tomorrow as well, and that will be going through February 26th. So you're welcome to go online and purchase those tickets or go to the box office if you'd like to see that. Just out of curiosity, what, who are some of the folks that you acknowledged in there? Well, I acknowledged <laughs> um, Dr. Jackie Thompson. She was just recently appointed the assistant superintendent for Davis County Schools, and she lives here in Layton. Um, I acknowledged, I got the privilege of acknowledging my parents and some of the contributions they've made over the course of their life here, as well as um, Major Carl Walter Walters, who was a former Tuskegee Airman, and he and his wife have lived here for over 40 years. Very good. Well, thank you. Yeah. Tyson, do you have an announcement on the sweetheart dance? 
Um, Park, oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, Valentine's Dance, February 11th at Central Davis Junior High Gymnasium. Great music from a local band. Local Dancing. Band. Local. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, well, Council, thank you for making those announcements, and uh, hopefully everyone will... Um, you know, take the opportunity to look and, and attend a lot of those events. Okay, we do not have any verbal petitions, so I'll now open it up for our citizens' comments. So anyone who wish to address the council, you're welcome to step up to the podium and state your name and address for the record. And hopefully and now, uh, the comments are brief. Appreciate you. My name is uh, Dora Louise Brown. My address is 343 South, 750 East. I have not stood before you since last October. That was when I again requested intervention for the people who are living in the Cedarwood Trailer Park. After that presentation, I was told by Mr. Jensen that I was doing more damage than good. Um, he invited me and my fellow advocates to meet with him in private and that our concerns would be addressed. And I'm here tonight to report how our concerns are being addressed. At this moment, an update. At this moment, a few remaining evicted families of the first phase are still packing. Most of them are gone. With the exception of two families, all have or will abandon their homes. We've helped some of them find alternative places to live. We're still working with the rest. We have until March 1st, 24 days away to get them all out. They are leaving uncompensated. They go with a small relocation check to help with their moving expenses. <laughs> You may ask why they didn't all move their trailers. Their trailers are legally too old to move and there is nowhere to move them to. You may ask why they didn't move out sooner. They were lied to and let along about the parks closure and many other things, which left them unprepared when the truth was finally forced out. So they will lose their homes and their equity on March 1st. Mr. Winkle is fortunate to be able to draw from his family's fortune to build this project. Even more fortunate for him, the city has generously made available to him hundreds of thousands of dollars in RDA money, state mitigation money, staff time, and other resources. But the Cedarwood families, they are contributing the most because they are involuntarily giving their entire life savings to Mr. Winkle's project. I want you to let that seek in for a minute. Everything they own is tied up in their homes, and they are now leaving them behind uncompensated. And this is not over. These evicted families represent about 25% of the population of Cedarwood community. Mr. Winkle must still rid himself of about 50 families. Since this present process has worked so cheaply and so well for him, there's no reason to believe he won't repeat it. There are ways to financially help these families. We have brought some ideas to the staff, but they were not used and we don't know why. They might say these methods are not viable. We don't agree with that. I have left my card on your desk. I invite you to speak with our citizens advocate group. We want to learn more from you and we want, we want to talk with you about these issues. I admire elected city officials. I've been one myself. And I know that you can do something about this. You are in fact the only entity that stands between these, these families, these citizens and financial ruin. If you choose to leave it in the hands that presently dictate it, the rest of these families will also be forced to donate their life savings to Mr. Winkle's project. We ask you again to please protect these families. The city needs less management and more citizen responsive leadership. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, anyone else? Seeing that there's no other public comment at this time, we'll go ahead and proceed then with item number five, which is our consent item. Tonight, we only have one item that, to deal with, so um, I'm going to turn the time over to Mr. Terry Coburn to uh, present uh, and ident identify properties for um, the Utah Department of Transportation. Thank you, Mayor. In the work meeting, Mr. Jackson, our city engineer, explained the properties in the process. Tonight, I bring before the council resolution 2207, a resolution approving Layton City's donation and sale of identified properties to the Utah Department of Transportation for the construction of the Highway 89 project. 
various locations throughout Layton City along frontage roads adjacent to Highway 89. The Utah Department of Transportation is currently in the process of acquiring several properties necessary to complete the construction of Highway 89. Some of the properties within Layton City will be used for public purposes and improvements, as well as for use within the city's right-of-way. UDOT desires to purchase one property as well as acquire via donation 16 additional properties from the city, which are currently public roads. UDOT seeks these properties to allow them to complete the construction of the frontage road system upon completion of Highway 89 project, UDOT will dedicate the new frontage road system to the city. Basically, this is UDOT dotting their I's and crossing their T's, straightening up their right away legally. We are happy that when it's done, the frontage road systems will be turned over to the city, we'll own them. That gives us the right to repair any utility problems we have or anything without having to get permission. We will own the roads. Staff recommends the council adopt resolution 2207. Okay. Council, do you have any questions regarding these properties? I know we had a very good lengthy discussion in the work meeting, but certainly if there's any additional questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, Mayor. Seeing if there's none, then being that that's our only item on the consent item, I'll look for a motion. Madam Mayor, I make a motion that the City Council approve Layton City's donation and sale of identified properties to the Utah Department of Transportation for the construction of Highway 89 Resolution 22-07 various locations throughout the city along frontage roads adjacent to Highway 89. Okay, thank you. It's been moved and second that we uh, approve the consent item as presented. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Um, that pretty much brings our meeting to a conclusion. Unless there's any unfinished business that anybody needs to bring before me at this time, I'll entertain a motion to conclude this meeting, and we can then, in 10 minutes, convene in another meeting. Or five minutes, I guess. I move that we close the meeting. Thank you. Okay, it's been moved and second. I'll agree. A. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for those folks that have come to tonight's council meeting, and I hope you enjoy your evening. <laughs>